Planet Dolan. From being attacked by a possessed woman on the subway, to being attacked by a racist rant on the bus, we look at eight disturbing public transportation incidents. Number eight, the mugging. A man on a San Francisco railway bus was making a lot of noise, so much that a teenage boy told him to be quiet. The man didn't like being told by a younger man to be quiet, so he took out a knife and he held it to the boy's chest. The man told the boy to give him his shoes. He then held the knife up to the boy's throat and told him to give him his phone. The man took his cell phone and he ran off. But luckily, the boy was able to keep his shoes. The boy wasn't hurt, but the man was never caught. Number seven. In yet another public transportation incident in San Francisco, crews inspecting the tracks of a transit train made a startling discovery in the early morning hours. It was a woman's right foot. The foot was later determined to belong to a woman who was struck by a train a month before, but survived, although she did lose her lower right leg. And if you're curious, the police did not suspect any foul play when the foot was discovered. Number 6. Transit Tirade All Lindsay Lee wanted to do was take the bus. Instead, she was disturbed by a woman in the front who had suddenly spun around and began to call the Chinese Australian every racist name in the book. No matter how much she cried for the bus driver to stop, the bus continued just going down the road. Nobody came to the frightened girl's aid either. The racist, unstable woman just continued with her racist tirade on Lindsay, who didn't do anything but decide to ride the bus. Lindsay did manage to record a 90-minute video of the woman's tirade, and she posted it on her Facebook. Police who viewed the video said that the woman looked and sounded just like the same one who gave a Chinese-Australian couple the same kind of tirade in a local park. Even if you're not the victim of a racist tirade, it's still a disturbing thing to witness. Number 5. Possessed A young woman on a train in Edmonton, Canada began to display some unusual behavior. She grabbed at her hair and then suddenly began to attack the man sitting next to her. Letting out a shriek, she grabbed him by the neck and struck him. After the brief assault, the young woman walked away, but the man followed and shoved her several times. She then kicked him, and another struggle began. Security finally came and took control of the situation, escorting both the young woman and the man off the train. One of the bystanders commented that she looked possessed, and many believed the video of the incident. Yes, there's a video was a hoax. It was later determined not to be a hoax, as security confirmed that it had really happened. Number 4. Strangers on a Train A 13-year-old girl in Washington, D.C. rode the Green Line train when a 37-year-old man sat next to her. Almost as soon as he sat down, he unzipped his pants and he began to touch himself. Understandably shaken, the girl went to leave when the man put his hand on her and asked, Why are you leaving so soon? She pushed past him, and once the train stopped, she jumped off and told one of her family members what had happened. After reviewing surveillance footage, the police were able to identify this man, and they had him arrested. Number 3. The Girl on the Subway From Reddit user Ugly Hag A college freshman in New York was riding the subway. She noticed that a girl about her age was struggling to lift her baby carriage into the car. After helping her, the girls talked throughout the ride. The young girl kept repeatedly looking at different men and pointing out how creepy they seemed and stating that girls had to stick together. The student was uneasy, but she shrugged it off as a mother being paranoid with her baby in tow. When it came time to get off, 
The girl asked the student for help in getting her carriage out, and as soon as the student bent down to lift up the front, she saw that the girl's baby was just a doll. Scared, the student ran away with the girl chasing after her. The student ran up to a group of men who stayed with her until a police officer came by. But by that point, the girl had already vanished. Number 2. Far Away Admirer A woman was on a train to London to visit her boyfriend. During the trip, the boyfriend texted his girlfriend saying that a man had just sent him a message saying how stunning she was and how he was lucky to have her. Thinking it was some kind of virus in the train's Wi-Fi, she let it go. But soon after, her boyfriend sent her a screenshot of another message. This one from a different man. It said almost the same thing, that he was sitting across from her at a table on the train and that she was stunning and made the trip go by a lot faster. The woman had no idea how these two men had gotten her name. After getting off the train, meeting her boyfriend and going back to his place, she decided to reply to the second man's message, who claimed that he didn't mean any harm. He went on to say that he had gotten her name off of her rail card, which was on the table while she was in the bathroom. After calling him out on this creepy behavior, the messages stopped just as quickly as they began. Number 1. Bus Beheading One night in 2008, a carnival worker by the name of Tim McLean was taking the Greyhound bus home from work. During the ride back to his home in Manitoba, a fellow passenger named Vince Lee, a schizophrenic, took a seat next to Tim, who nodded off with his headphones on. While Tim slept, Vince took out a large knife and began to stab him. The bus driver immediately pulled over and evacuated the rest of the passengers. The bus driver and two other men then tried to rescue Tim, but Vince slashed at them. Vince went on to decapitate Tim, and he held up his head for the other passengers to see, then continued to mutilate him while eating his flesh. Eventually, the police did arrive, and they arrested Vince. Alright, so what is the weirdest thing that you have ever seen on a train? Let us know in the Reddit page linked below, and you might be featured in a future countdown. It seems I must leave you now, mortals, but don't worry. I shall return. See ya! And the mobsters responsible had accidentally left it behind. Maybe it was like a weird souvenir for the hotel staff, or a really shitty tip. Either way, don't follow their example. Stick to leaving one-star reviews on TripAdvisor.